Good morning. Uh, yesterday I received the press sheets from Shuffled Ink. That's uh, where you get all the sheets of cards so you can see the front and back. And I cut them out so that I could get a better look at the deck, get a good feel for how the cards are going to be. Of course, I cut these out with my kitchen shears so they're not professionally cut at all. And the corners, um, when you get your deck, will be rounded. So. I want to run through the deck and show you um, because I really think they did a beautiful job printing. I'm just, I'm thrilled. So, um, also your deck will come in this nice size tin. It's gonna make a beautiful presentation. When you open it up, you'll find a bag with your deck inside of it. And whereas most decks come with a small book, you know, a small like little white book, your deck, the Grimalkin deck, is going to come with a regular size book, a five by eight book. And that to me is just, I mean, I like looking, I like reading a regular size book. Um, it's easier for me to keep track of. <laughs> I can put it on my bookshelf. I know where it is for the most part. Um, so let's run through the cards. I can show you the printing. I'm really, I'm really pleased with the printing. So we start off with the Knight of Pentacles. And keep in mind, these are out of order because I've been playing with this deck. We have the Queen of, of Wands. We have the Two of Cups. The Ace of Cups. The Page of Wands. And I think we really get a feeling for how the colors and just the whole story just pops off each card. It's like you're being drawn into another world. The Eight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. I mean, although it's a really painful card, I mean, my goal was to make a beautiful deck, regardless of the energy. I wanted you to feel comforted and supported as you're experiencing perhaps this moment in your life. We have the Four of Swords, the Ten of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands. You can almost feel that energy, right? The cat charging with those horses. We have the Eight of Cups. The Devil, which is almost a caricature of a cat. That's how I see the Devil, caricature of humans. The Hermit. We have the grumpy cat of the four of cups. You can see, you can almost see his, like his face is just a whatever face. Indignant cat. We have the three of cups. These cats are having a good time playing around. We have the wheel of fortune. This is one of my favorite cards, the seven of pentacles, just the colors. I mean, you really do feel drawn into this card. The King of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. You can feel that, that anxiety. There's a heaviness with that Nine of Swords. The Six of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. This is also just aesthetically um, speaking, this is one of my favorite cards, the contrast between the white and the yellow. The yellow in this case, meaning, you know, could be cowardly, whereas normally it means joy. In this case, because this cat stole this bird and is trying to frame it on this other cat over here. To me, that's a, that's a cowardly act. We have the Eight of Swords. You can feel the heaviness of these swords as well as it's preventing the cat from leaving its safety spot here under the bush. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Justice card. We have Strength. The Emperor really comes off this card. I mean, you can feel his power, actually. I feel, you can almost feel it when you hold this card. His beard really shows nicely. The Chariot. The Hierophant. Notice the key in the dead mouse's hand. 
the Ace of Wands. We have the Four of Wands. The cat's playing with the, the yarn. The Ace of Swords. The Knight of Swords. The Queen of Swords. The Seven of Cups. The Two of Swords. This is one of my favorite cards. Again, just aesthetically speaking, the colors, the fish down here on the bottom. The crows, of course, because you know I love crows. The Nine of Pentacles. Of course, the Lovers, which is that one. I love this card. The Ten of Cups. Can you almost feel the happiness of these two little kittens sitting here in this golden garden? We have the Nine of Cups, a very proud cat with his fish. Have the five of cups the six of cups with the cats playing by the villa without a care in the world we have the creative page of cups the eight of wands even though he's or she's a, a chubby chubby cat <laughs> she's moving along swiftly She's being pushed along by those wands. The inventive three of pentacles. The king of swords. The four of pentacles. The temperance card. I feel like this card really does draw you into the world of the Grimalkin tarot. If you just stare at her eyes. The Magician, the Ace of Swords, the Empress, the Knight of Cups, the High Priestess, the Fool, and then there's, there's the Grimalkin card. And here, um, people have been asking me about what my next deck is going to be. And I put a clue in this card with the owl, the fox, and the bat. The five of swords. This cat is practicing some social distancing from that dog in a very, perhaps, brutish way. The moon. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands. I almost feel the air and the, the, just the height of that, that branch. The Five of Wands. We have the Unity card with all the cats playing and laying down on the, the green carpet here. Judgment, the world, the tower, a look inside the tower, a different perspective on it. We have the six of wands. We have the ten of wands in this cat. It almost does seem like it just pops right up off that, that card. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. We have the King of Wands. We have the Star card. Let's see, you almost feel those, um, the roots. The Death card. The Sun card. Of passion flowers, the hanged man, 
And you will, you'll, I'm sure you've noticed there are lots of crows in this deck. I do love crows. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the King of Cups. They're very serene creatures. You can feel almost that misty soupiness in the air here with the Five of Pentacles. It's very heavy. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Pentacles. I hope you guys love this deck as much as I really love making it. This is, um, my goal was to make a beautiful deck and I hope you find that I succeeded in that. I mean, with every card, regardless of the card, I mean, whether it be the Ten of Swords, you know, or the Three of Swords or the Six of Pentacles, I, I just wanted overall the visual element to just be beautiful. So much love to you. And I'm just, oh, I'm thrilled. And they shuffle really nicely. Of course, it's a little hard since I cut these and the corners are really sharp, but they shuffle nicely. They feel good and solid in your hand. Uh, that's what I like about it. Like when you hold it, you can almost feel the energy of these cats. So much love, peace, bye.